there's something I've realized along the way that there's two types of people that, that I've seen who are really, really good. There's wizards, okay? I can name a handful of them. Uh, Greg, Greg Cook being one of them. Uh, Charlie Weingroff being one. Um, uh, John Berardi, uh, Joel Jameson, some of these people, I, there's, I can name on one hand that are just wizards. Um, people like, if you've ever been in the presence of Gray Cook, he's, it's like a, a Steve Jobs type of thought process, that he's five years ahead of you, not two minutes ahead of you. And so when you're in the presence of these people, they can you know, put their hand on their shoulder and your ankle mobility gets better. Like you don't know, they have the force. Yeah. yeah. I don't have that, okay? And so with that, I became a really good systems manager, is basically just having a checklist. And over time, I just keep adding to that checklist and I get better and better at adding to that checklist. Now later we have a funny slide that I'm gonna show you um, that I sent to Mike with the checklist of me kind of brain dumping on a, on a whiteboard. And you'll see kind of the circus that goes on in my head of a checklist every time I think of writing a program. We wanna make it a little bit simpler for you there. Okay, now here's the problem with wizardry. Okay, it doesn't scale, right? You can't reproduce a Greg Rose. You can't reproduce those types of people. And so how do I scale myself? Because I had a facility where I had nine trainers working for me. How do I scale that? How do I scale this if I want to do different programs? And that's what we want to look at to do is kind of create systems to, to give the imagery, the image of wizardry without having to be a wizard.